Hi, I didn't see you there. How are you doing? I was just enjoying a book about the Yorkshire Dales. Lovely landscape. Down to business. What I want to talk to you about today is how to tell what your stories have been curated into. For those of you who aren't aware, Medium used to make it super easy to see how your stories have been curated. So they would say, hey, we curated this, or hey, we did not curate this. For reasons best known to themselves and nobody else, they got rid of this. Now, um, you don't know if you're still in the queue, you don't know if they passed you over, and if you do get curated, you no longer know what you've been curated in. This is gonna show you how to examine the source code on your computer to see what topics your story has been curated into. It will be a quick one, so buckle up, take notes if needed. If not, this video will be permanently available on the internet for you to peruse at your leisure whenever. Quick reminder for those of you who don't know what curation is, on Medium, anybody can publish anything. However, if you want your story to do particularly well, what you want is for Medium's curators, they're a team of human people, as far as I'm aware, they might be robots, but I think they're human. Go through your story and they're like, this is so good, we think that everyone who's interested in T should read this story about tea, so we're gonna curate it in food. Exciting. This video is just about figuring out what you are curated into. Why would you wanna do this? First of all, curious, I'm a nosy Nelly. Maybe you are too, it's nice to see. Secondly, it can be useful to know what your audience is going to be comprised of. Uh, Medium does have a way that you can see your audience interest breakdowns, but only after about a thousand views. If you don't have a thousand views on your story, you're knowing what topic you're curated into is the best way to know. Let's get into it. All right, let's dig into it and see what's going on. So I will go to my stats and show you what I am looking at. Pretty bad day for views so far today, but eh, never mind. Okay, so this is one that I know was curated. You wouldn't think it to look at the views, but look, I can see chosen for further distribution. That's a good place to start. So if I go into the story, and if you are on a Mac, I know for sure you can go to inspect. If you're not, it's also possible to go to uh, more tools, and then you're gonna wanna select developer tools. This is gonna pull up a lot of source code. Don't panic, you don't need to read all of this. It's super easy to find out what you should be looking for. Press Command F if you're on a Mac or Control F if you're on a PC and type in topic with a colon right next to it. So you scroll down and this is gonna give us some interesting information about the story that I've just published. We can see the headline, the date I published it, the date I modified it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we can see what I tagged it in myself. So tags, as a reminder, are what you put in at the end of when you publish a story. You can choose up to five. Topics are separate, they're what your story is curated into. So here I can see that it was curated into politics, election 2020, and social media. There's actually a pretty quick way to, to double check this. So if I go to medium.com forward slash topic forward slash election 2020, there we go. Um, and if I look for myself, okay. And there it is in election 2020 as shown by the source code election 2020. And I checked and it's there for social media and politics as well. So I know that it is being, it has been curated into those topics. That's literally it. You just check the source code. One thing to watch out for, I have seen this this particular tag here, um, this code, even for stories that I don't think were distributed. So it's not a good way to tell whether or not a story was distributed. It's just better to check if it was distributed, what, what categories it was curated into. You can do it manually by going through all the topics you think it might be in, but that's the, that's the fail safe method. Now that's it. You can examine your story. You can examine other people's stories to see what they were distributed in. And you can satisfy all the nosy urges you might be feeling right now to see what your story was curated into. Still not sure why Medium decided to get rid of this. Uh, maybe it was just, just to stop people like me from obsessing over the curation topics, which I may have been prone to do, but we'll never know for sure. Some exciting news for me. I am going to be investing in a very expensive camera because I want to bring my own face to you in high definition. So you're welcome. Just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. I am really excited about it though. It's my first serious purchase as like a YouTuber. So um, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm investing in myself and I'm excited to see uh, if it has an impact on my channel or if it's just like, just a nice thing to do. So if you are excited to see more of me in high definition, please hit subscribe, like, 
comment uh, any questions, please let me know. I try to go through my YouTube comments about um, once a week and I look forward to seeing you all in the next extremely high definition video that I hope to do. Bye.